Hi everyone, myself Manoj here. Uh, today, uh, the tutorial is about, you know, I was doing a QC today on a specific file and I just came with a, a weird error of initial shading group getting locked and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's, and the fun part was, you know, the solution was pretty cool for that, you know, we, it, was, it was pretty, but, and how I came up with that solution, I would really like to share with you all today. The, the file is, uh, this is the this is the file from the vendor that we received. Okay, and I'm just going to switch off the light references, which I don't need, of course. So what actually the issue was, you know, my initial shading group was getting locked, and so what happens at that time was locked, and what happened at that time was, uh, whenever I create any uh, basic uh, polygon shapes or surface shapes. You know, it's it's getting created, but it's not getting rendered. Or I'm sorry, it's not it's not able to render in the viewport. Right. So if I, now this is my file. Okay, this is I can see all the objects here. I can see all my set objects. Everything is visible. Everything is you know uh, rendered in the viewport. But the moment I you know click on click on sphere, it's getting created. The V sphere one is getting created. It's not able to render that in the viewport, but the data is there. The the P is P one data is there. But the weird part is like the construction history is on and there is no inputs, right? So that's that's the weird part. So how? And if I check this, if I check the hierarchy also, I can check here. Like you know, this is my transform, this is my shape, and the rest of the hierarchies are missing. Like the inputs, then comes your shaders, which which shaders it has been assigned with. Basically, whenever you create any basic polygon shapes or surface shapes it's always gets connected automatically to your lambert one that is your initial shading group engine but it's not getting connected somewhere the connection is getting missed out so what i did with the first part was uh, i opened the node editor of sphere one and since i already clicked on p sphere so whenever i open a node editor it gets automatically opened with the specific uh, selected object and i've just had to look for the inputs since the construction history is on of course the inputs node must have been made so I have to look into that DAX set objects of oh my god so much history is cool yeah that's weird yeah p sphere p sphere yeah p sphere 1 so I'm gonna drag the p sphere 1 here and uh, I'm gonna connect the output of the attribute to the input of the in mesh of p sphere 1 shape so the moment I do that I can see here that you know my p sphere 1 is Visible now. So now my sphere is visible, but it's looking green. The reason why it's looking green because it's not assigned with the default Lambert one, or it's not been connected with the default Lambert one, of course. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my initial shading group, initial shading group of Lambert one. Uh, it's gonna take time. I'm gonna search here for Lambert one. So network initial shading group and I am going to drag here this so how the connection is basically the first comes your inputs and then comes your shape nodes and then comes the SG group connections like I'm gonna connect the INST and just just ignore this weird blue line please uh, I'm just gonna connect the INST OBJ group I'm gonna search for INST OBJ group INST INST OBJ group INST where it was, it was here yeah it's here so sorry and I'm gonna connect this to my DAX set members okay that's where now it's not getting connected because I think that must be the lock node which has been creating an issue as I told you before yeah see it's showing the error here the attribute initial shading group DAX set member 0 is locked and cannot be connected that means it's not able to accept any new connections because the lock because my SG group is completely locked right so this should not be there. When, when you see this, guys, and if you click on unlock, if it's not getting unlocked, that means there is a lock node on the specific SG group connection, or on the specific SG group, or on the specific node itself. So, what I'm going to do is the best way we can do is, uh, you know, now this initial shading group is made according to your interface, right? This is the this is made according to your interface. So, if I click on new Maya, and if I now click on initial shading group now this is my initial shading group here now see this is not locked and by default it's not locked so what I'm gonna do is if I import the file in this 
it's going to take the settings of initial shading group as per the specific interface like if I import now let me import the file it's going to take the settings of the initial shading group the specific interface now and what it's going to do is it's going to be not keeping it as locked it's going to be keeping it as unlocked basically so even if I create any sphere now it's going to be visible because it's you have not opened that specific file in the interface you have just imported the elements in the interface with the s default settings of your you know shading group engines then your default under layer so it's it's basically been imported that's all so it's just taking the setting of the specific interface now since we have opened the file everything has been working according to that file shading group engine right now according to that specific file information which has been saved and it's taking those data according to that way so what I'm gonna do is yeah uh, as he was saying yeah we, it's not connected it's still showing green right so what about we can do is we can just select this and assign a Lambert also so we can see but what happens if I create another sphere now it's not getting visible that's because again we have to do the connection that's because my initial shading group engine is locked right so like we cannot do you know we cannot keep on uh, connecting open the node later then keep on connecting that's going to be hey why right so it's the best way is what I what we you know what I came up with the solution was let's open the file in the text editor like you know in a, any uh, any note uh, any readable format let's, let's open the file in notepad plus plus and let's look for the specific lock node because uh, that's what is creating an issue right so I'm gonna search here for L O CK and capital node. And the moment I click here, uh, it's searching, searching, searching. Yeah, this is lock node, but this is for the specific reference, but which is, of course, for the reference lock node has to be there. And yeah, now this is for the initial shading group. You see here, guys, now this node, lock node, lock node minus lock zero minus lock u. Now this thing is creating an issue. So I'm going to delete this entire part and I'm going to save my file. Okay, I've just saved it. Close. Now, now in this interface, we have already, you know, opened the file, and we have closed. We have closed, right? We have just click on File New. What happened here was the initial shading group settings, which was giving an issue of lock node, it's still there in the specific interface. If I create a new sphere, we are still not able to see it because it's still there, the initial shading group, it's still taking the settings of the specific file, now that's weird. So what we have to do is, we have to close the specific interface, we have to open a new Maya, we need to open a new Maya, because it's still taking that, even if you click on file open and open that specific file, it's gonna still take the same settings of that lock node. That's weird, I understand that, that's totally weird. So anyways, you know, if you want to open any 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 uh, any file, you just have to reopen new Maya, right? Or you can just close a specific Maya, you can just reopen it. And I'm gonna reopen the file again. No need of the reference. Okay. Uh, let, let, let's see, let's see whether it works or not. Okay, and uh, the moment I have reopened, I'm gonna create another sphere now. Okay, it's the file is huge. I think yeah, that's fine. That's weird. The already the data which was created, it's not gonna be showing me those. So I have to create a new sphere. Now I'm able to see that sphere. Click on file. Okay. Yep. Yeah, see, now I'm able to see the sphere. Now it's you know visually rendering the sphere in the viewport cool yeah but what happens as i told you like you know when you when you open that file which which was already giving an issue you know so what happens if i open that in a new interface we have already seen you know when you opened a fresh Maya and when we opened it out and when we were creating the sphere it was not creating it out right but whatever data is it was there uh, it was there according to that uh, lock node itself so it's not going to refresh those uh, it's not going to refresh those inputs basically so we have to uh, you know reopen in a very uh, new interface 
with the lock node removed and then whenever you create any of these poly shapes or surfaces it's gonna be visually visible or visually rendered in the viewport so that one lock node was creating an issue and uh, otherwise you know you can open a node reader and just do the manual connection which is gonna be a heavy part in the you cannot just you know keep on creating spheres and cubes and then you know connecting it through node reader so that's gonna be weird so that's the one way or what you can do is uh, you can open a new Maya you can open a, a, a new interface or totally new fresh new Maya and just you know, opening a new interface and then you can just import that file and you can just start creating spheres so the either of this either you can you know delete the lock node from notepad editor or you can just open a new Maya and input that specific file and then you can save the file and then it should not be giving an issue then it should be like you know overriding with the initial shading group engine of unlock with that specific interface so that's how I, I'm, I know I'm using the term interface of very commonly yeah but yeah that's like you know when I'm talking about interfaces like you know you you entirely this this is my interface you entire new this is one interface this is one interface that's what I'm talking here so that's what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm, when I'm using the term called interface that's a user interface like you know UI we can say cool so yeah basically when when there's a lock node so guys be careful you know try deleting it out from the when there's a lock node in your initial shading group try deleting it out it should not be there or you can just open a new interface of Maya and then you just manually import those specific files and you can start creating out your shapes nodes and then you save that file so it will be overridden with your unlock basically unlock initial shading group engine so that's all guys and uh, hope hope this was helpful and hope you if you get such kind of issues uh, you just you know try connecting it first with the node editor so that you actually understand how the ar key works you now this is how the ar key has to be you see yeah this is how the ar key has to be the transform shapes then your inputs or your histories uh, uh, and then comes your shaders whether it's uh, lambert 1 or whatever shader you are assigning with like if i'm assigning lambert another it's going to be lambert 25 that, that's lambert 25 cool so so the re that's the reason why I opened node editor and I was just showing you the manual connection how it's getting connected uh, that's how the hypergraph ARK key works and uh, that's all guys so hope this was helpful and um, we'll be sharing up more and more QC errors whatever you know I'm escalating with and so keep sharing and knowledge has to be shared right so yeah